Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So this makeup look is one of my most favorite makeup look. Just love the way the entire makeup has turned out. I was a little skeptical at first. I didn't know exactly what eye makeup look I would wanted to do with this outfit and this jewelry but then I chose and I wanted to go a little bit bold. So here it is, bold pink eye makeup with mauve pink lips. I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial and for today's tutorial so today's makeup, I'm going to start off with my eyes first and as you can see I've already worked on my eyebrows prior to starting my eye makeup so I will have a separate video linked down on the description box where I show you guys how I do my eyebrows, my eyebrow routine so you can definitely check that video out. Now for today's eyeshadow base, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Concealer, which is the uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer. It is in the shade Light Ivory. It is one of my favorite concealer when it comes to full coverage, but it is the most inexpensive product you can ever find. It is so cheap. Now using a big fluffy brush, I'm going to now blend it all over my lid carefully so everything looks nice and seamless and blended. So today's eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using the Sunrise Impression by Focal Your. This palette is absolutely stunning and it has all the pinks that I needed to create today's makeup look. So the first color that I'm using it is called Pure Nude. As you can see, the color is very much what it says it is. It is acting as my setting for my concealer, so it's perfect. And at the same time, it's creating that very, very light crease transition for me. Once it's all done, I'm going to move on to my next color, which is called Tenderly Light. Now, it has a little bit of pink in it, but at the same time, it is not a very bright pink. It is more like a mauve pink. And once I start blending it, you will see the true color starts coming out. And if you can see my eyes are moving towards the right side of the screen is because I'm watching my screen there which is connected to my camera so sometimes I just look at it because my camera screen is too tiny so that kind of helps me guide through my tutorial and here I'm just connecting my outer corners completely to the crease and making sure everything is blended and because I haven't done my base so I could go a little messy with my eyeshadow and it's totally fine now for the next color, it's called Punch Pink, which is a very little brighter, little brighter pink, but more on the mauve side. So we're working with a lot of mauve pinks today. And I'm using a skinnier brush to connect and apply it on the outer corners, and then I've used the same brush I've used earlier to kind of blend. The color that I'm using now, it's called Chocolate Martini, which is kind of like a brown tone, and as you can see, it's now darkening up the outer corners. And here I'm just blending it out and in basically so you want to blend it out at the same time you want to blend in because you want to kind of blend the outer corners in and out here I'm using the same concealer by LA Girl concealer and using a concealer brush I'm applying it on my lid and as you know my technique I always like to kind of bend down or look up to kind of create that line on my crease to know exactly where my lid touches on the crease so that way I don't transfer colors or eyeshadow afterwards once it's done, uh, my camera just went blur, but basically I took the same color chocolate martini and kind of blend it again. I didn't really take any extra color, I just blended with whatever I had on my brush from the earlier blendings. Here I'm using two colors, so for my inner corner I've used the color called Champagne from the same palette, and then I'm using the color called Pinwheel Galaxy, which is a little darker pink, and the other one, as the name suggests, it was a little champagne -y. Now using my eyeliner and a very little skinny brush by Morphe, I'm going to apply very thin eyeliner with a little minute wing on the outer corner. Now I'm using a L'Oreal gel eyeliner in the shade black. 
Once it's done, it's time to move on some primer. We're gonna start with our face. This is the photo finish primer and it is beautiful, honestly. So I'm gonna apply that all over my face. It creates a very beautiful base for my foundation to kind of sit onto. Next, I'm going to use my favorite foundation. This foundation has been my favorite foundation whenever I feel like doing a full cover base. This is one of my favorite picks for full coverage. Now this is in the shade Amber, which is perfect because I'm NC44 in summer and NC42 in winter time. So because it is winter now, so you can see there's a little bit orangey on my face, but it is totally fine since I've skipped the orange color correction. So this kind of helps, This the orange in this foundation kind of helps to cover up all the hyperpigmented areas in my face or darker areas like under my eyes. So it's perfect. It creates a very beautiful cover without having to do orange concealer so now to balance all of that orange shaded foundation and everything I'm just going to go and now highlight my highlighted zones with the concealer for today's concealer I'm using Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless Concealer in the shade light medium gold warm golden tone so it definitely has a warm golden tone to it, but definitely is also going to make my highlighted areas a lot lighter because it's definitely a few shades lighter than the actual foundation that I've just used. And using the same foundation that I've used earlier to uh, apply the foundation on, onto my face, I'm going to be using the same brush to also blend my highlighted concealer. And to set everything, I'm using NYX Translucent Powder. Now this powder is one of my favorite because it comes in two forms. One, you can also use their loose powder or you can use their press translucent powder, which is the one that I'm using. And definitely you can see everything is set so beautifully. Uh, I do have a few loose powders that I absolutely die-heartedly love them. First one is the Charlotte Tilbury's powder, then I have the Laura Mercier, and then this NYX is perfect. And also, I forgot to mention, Inglot and Kryolan Translucent Powder, they are also very good. To contour today, I'm using Smashbox Contouring Kit, which is their three powders in there, bronzer, contour, and highlighter. I'm now contouring the lower part of my jaw. Of course, I, over this lockdown, I think I've got quite big and chubby. So it's very crucial that I get to contour my double chin so it doesn't show. And for nose contour, I'm using a skinnier brush because it helps make it look very clean and nicely contoured. So I'm going to make my highlighted zones a little bit more highlighted with that yellow powder from the same palette. It is not too too yellow, it's kind of like a light yellow. It helps to brighten up those under eyes instantly. And not just under eyes, I'm going to be applying that on all over my highlighted areas. Once it's done, it's time to put some blush and for that I've used my LA Girl blush. I believe it is in the shade Pinch Me, but I'm going to double check for you guys because I'm not too too sure. But I'm going to double check and let you guys know. Now for my under eyes, I'm using this color called Punch Pink, which is a very beautiful, bright, mauve pink. And this palette definitely has no fallout, as you can tell. It's clean and crisp. For my eyelashes today, I'm using the brand called Lash Atoll, and it is in the shade, or sorry, I just opened the box and it flipped back. It's called Miss Bougie 2.0. And instantly, as you put on the lashes, it just makes your eye makeup come together. It looks so beautiful. For my mascara today, I'm using the color, uh, not color, sorry. I'm using the Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara by Smashbox Cosmetics. This is my first time trying it out and I've, I already applied it on the 
top uh, lash so I wanted to try it out on the bottom lashes definitely that's a big difference like as you can tell it almost looks like I'm wearing a falsies on my lower lash line for highlighter today I'm using Celia Beauty's highlighter And all the names and the shades of the product will be listed down on the description box for you guys to have a look. This is one of my favorite highlighters. Um, even for brides, I always go and grab this one because this has a very beautiful champagne gold tone, which sort of suits every skin tone. And I pop some on my inner corners as well to make my inner corners of my eyes more brighter. Now for my waterline, I'm using Inglot Cold pencil in number 05. It's one of my favorite full eyeliner pencils. Inglot has the best full eyeliner pencil. Well, to be honest, Inglot has a lot of amazing products, so their line is just amazing. For my lips, I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills School Liquid Lipstick. It is in the shade Poet, which is as you can tell, it is kind of like a mauve pink, but on the darker side. Okay, now I'm going to pair it up with another lipstick to create sort of like an ombre look. For that, I'm using my Maybelline Ink Crayon in the shade... Hmm, that's interesting. In the shade lead the way in number 15 this shade was actually advertised on or sorry there was a post on maybelline's instagram and i saw this and i instantly went to walmart to grab it because it's amazing you should definitely get it it's almost like the sore lip liner kind of color beautiful and it feels amazing on the lips so this is it guys this is the final look you can totally wear this look with a western gown even like a pink gown because valentine's is right around the corner or you can pair it up with some desi attire like the way i did for this video my desi attire was actually sponsored by ash creations they are located in brampton ontario and they were very kind enough to lend me some of their products so i can try it on and honestly just love love the way they looked so this is what the outfit is but I'm going to show you at the end of the video some photos from my photo shoot that I've, I've, that I've done wearing um, this outfit and jewelry. And the photographer is none other than my husband. My husband was the one who took the photo so it's you must watch it. <laughs> so this is it guys. This is the final look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Till then, take care.